Where's this lead? Kitchen! Sure. Dog food and water bowls! Nothing interesting here. Oof. Aha! Oh god, the fact there's a save point's a bad thing. Game saved, whatever that means. I guess this is where he washed his dog. It still reeks. Okay, let me think. If the dog bed already sinks that bad, I wonder what the dog will smell like. I think I can follow her scent. Oh! Oh god, that's weird. Okay, we're following a s- oh god! Nice, we're following a scent. It stops here. Right. What if I talk to Mr. Taylor again? Will he provide in in insight? I'll just talk to him once I find his dog. Oh. What? Where was the scent? Where did it end? Here. Ha! Huh. There's a hole in this door. The dog must have gone through here. The door is locked with the combination lock. I can't follow her. I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. Oh. Right, okay. Mr. Taylor, there's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe the dog has gone through there. Hmm, that would make sense. There's an under underground ah uh, fuck cellar behind that door, but I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh yes, what was it? It's so long. You see? I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination. But I'm no fool, so I have a backup. That's great. Where can I find it? So I love puzzles of all kind. I believe I hit the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly, the word you'll need is tree. Yes, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay, thanks for going through all the trouble. Don't worry about it. Underground bloody cellar? Why? <laughs> uh, sick. What the fuck? Tree. Tree. I'm looking for a tree. I do see the E's. I see an R. Oh no, that's... nope, nope. Tree! Found it. Wait, so would it be 5C... Wait, how does that work? It'd be 5C, 6D, 7E... Oh, no, it's not 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> so yeah, 5C, 6D, 7E... It F. This must be the puzzle he meant. Let's try five, six, seven, eight. See what happens. Where was it? Oh, it was here. Sure. Let's see. Is it really? Oh, I can only go up. That's bullshit. Five, six, seven, eight. Got it. That was easy. Woohoo! Cellar. <laughs> oh god. Grand. So follow the send. Uh, oh, I can't go any further. Great. So we're just in cellar. Nice. It's a washing machine. Doesn't work. There's no electricity. Of course. Now we're on the other side. Yeah, as I thought. Oh. It's an old compressor. Let's see if there's still some juice in it. Nothing happened. No, of course. Game saved. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, we're in a shed. Well, the scent's still here. Hammer, saw, wrench. Nails. Huh? What's that? No doubt this gasoline can will come in handy. Hmm. Whoops. I don't see why I would put it back. I wanted to switch. Then again, what I need... Yeah. There's a hole in the wall and the floor. The dog has gone through there. Well, through here, no doubt about it. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, so that puts me back out in the forest. Okay. 
I'm waiting for, like, you know, more spooky shit. Do -do -do -do. Uh, we're not following a scent anymore. Oh, that was someone passing by the foreground. It didn't get me, I was like, what was that? It was only the music that kind of ticked me, uh, tipped me off, that it was something spooky. Oh god. Burning the blood would solve nothing. There's blood. Shit. I hope this isn't her blood. Oh no! Oh, don't say the doggo's hurt. Uh, hey, hey, girl! I don't have the guts to get any closer. Come, girl! Sniff this sweet gasoline. No, I need to gain her trust somehow. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, we're we're already kind of fucked in terms of the shit we're seeing. Well, yeah, it was like chewing up, um, Mrs. Goodwin. Poor lady. Hmm. I'm just waiting for more shit to happen. It's quite interesting having a, uh, such a small viewpoint. It's literally like half the screen. Oh, it's still showing me the, um... The scent. I think I'll come. Ah, oh, fill the compressor with the gasoline. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that. Okay, so that did something. Mm. The power is on now. Let's see. Whoa. Oh god. Oh dear. What the fuck? That was weird. Shit, there's something inside. Phew, it's a glove. Got scared for a moment. Okay, so now we have the glove. And the gasoline. We have both. I mean, it's... At least we know when something spooky's happening, because the dude's face changes. Yeah, it goes, like, super... Oh no, it, it, it just kind of, like, grins a lot. <laughs> I unlocked the door. The door. Oh. Now that's useful. Now right, so now we have the glove, which I'm assuming is Mr. Taylor's. Yeah. Which will get the dog to trust us. I wonder what the hell that fucking, like, red thing was. I don't know. Like, it walked by the window, and then walked by the foreground. Doggo! Here, girl, smell this glove. That's it, come here. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Phew, who's a good girl? <laughs> Woof. Your master is worried about you. You should go home. Good girl. Alright, back to the cabin. Oh, God, is someone gonna have it to the dog? Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Oh god, no. Not again. Okay. Ha! Huh. Fuck you, elephant. What? 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 You found her. Thanks, kid. I signed the papers, so you can find them inside. I will leave immediately. Feels easier that way. Oh well, sir. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, better get the papers. They're here again. <laughs> McDad, Bruton, and more. <laughs> He's like, hey! You did it! Oh, pardon me. Son! Good to see you! Good to see you! Good to see you! McDad, Bruton, and more. Another job well done. Well done. Well done. Oh god, fuck, why did I have to say it like that? It reminded me of that one, Jim. Well done. Well done. For a moment, I thought you were going soft. 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 Doing him a favour by finding his lousy mutt. You seem like a v- Nonsense. 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 
You should have just kicked his worthless ass. Worthless ass. Worthless ass. Next time you rush, must remain strict. 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 I understand. Do you know? You wouldn't want to make us regret choosing you. No, says. That's the spirit. Thank you for the opportunity, says. That reminds me. Something of great importance. 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 What's that? We have yet to see you dance, son. Uh-oh. Now dance, son. Y yes, sir. Oh, look at us go. Yes, that's our boy. Yeah! Now faster. Does it actually get faster? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, it does, it does. Hup, 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 hup. Ah, oh, look at us. We're so uncomfortable. What on earth is this game? I really do enjoy it. Hmm. It's bizarre. Like, really good, really cool, but still bizarre. Oh god. Game saved, whatever the fuck that means. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, I saved. Hup two, hup two, hup two. We're in darkness, which means spooky stuff. Well, what do you know? Why is that supposed to be? What's the next spooky thing? The washer. Yep, washers are super spooky. I have to admit. The way they just managed to wash clothes. Oh god. Is that Goodwin? She's changed. Aha! Whoa! What the fuck? Oh god, it's creepy. Wait. Oh! What the hell? This is bizarre. Uh... Where am I? Oh, there we go. Can I talk to her? Oh, there. I fell down and couldn't get up. Oh god. Okay. Nice as a phone. Great. Oh, I thought it was a cutscene. Yes? Is this Miss Price, uh, Mr. Price speaking? Yeah. My name is Stewards. I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour. What's this all about? It's Mrs. Goodwin. I know you're not relative... Not a relative. But I'm afraid she has no one else. She asked me to call you. See, she had a stroke yesterday. Oh, oh. How is she doing? Well, considering the seriousness of the stroke, she's fine. But she's in a very... She's in very bad spirits. And when the mind fails, the body will follow. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I understand, but she asked specifically for you, Mr. Price. Could you consider visiting her in our care? Or here in our care? I'm sure it would mean a lot to her. Yes, I'll happily do it. Thank you, Mr. Price. I will bring the message to her. I'm sure she will be delighted. Thank you, Mr. Stewards. Okay. Interesting. Wow, so someone we actually took over the property of we're now actually going to visit. How strange. Huh. Weird. Hmm. Hey! Huh. What a nightmare. Ah, oh, shit. I wonder how Mr. Goodwin is doing. Maybe I should visit her for my own sake. Maybe. Uh, okay. Hmm. Ah, my new coffee maker is the Deluxe 2... The Deluxe 2000 X78 G3. Uh, X748 G3. One press of a button is enough. No more fetching water from the weirdest of places. Luxury, one would... One could call it. Oh, fucking noise. Oh, is that the phone? Huh? Who might that be? Hello, this is Price speaking. Mr. Price? This is Stuart speaking. I'm calling from a nursing home on behalf of Mrs. Goodwin. Is... is everything okay? She had a stroke. But she's doing relatively fine. Let me guess, she asked me to visit her. Impressive, Mr. Price. 
Indeed. It would mean the world to her. Could you please consider doing so? Yes, of course. I'll come see her. Thank you, Mr. Price. I'll let her know. Thank you for calling me. Oh, bloody hell. My dreams of guilt are coming true. Chris? Ha 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 ha! You are right, dear. I'll never forget that day. Oh look, dear, it's our little boy. I can see that, hun. Hey, son. You don't mind that we took some coffee, do you? The coffee tastes great this time. Not at all. Since you were here, I guess you have something important to tell me. That's correct, son. Since you're still pursuing the riches, at the expense of others. What your father is trying to tell you is that you are... You are losing yourself in the process. I think I know what you mean. But I can't quit now. I'm so close to success. How about Mrs. Goodwin? We heard she's not doing too good. Don't you think she would be... Would rather be at her home? I know I feel horrible for her. Maybe you would understand if you saw the consequences of your actions. You should go and see how Mrs. Goodwin is doing. Hey, no, you don't need to be so pushy. No, son, we do. We are only thinking about what is best for you. Sorry, I know that. See? You can be very compassionate, honey. Oh, God. Is anyone home? I'm looking for Mr. Price. Oh, man, I'm losing my mind. Okay, focus. Drink the coffee and suit up. I need to get my head straight. Coffee! I actually got to. Damn good coffee. Okay, I'll get dressed and I'm off. Woo! We actually got to have coffee! For once. Nice. Alright. Alright, I'll pay Mrs. Goodwin a visit. I hope she's okay. I do too. I travelled to meet Mrs. Goodwin. I hated myself, but maybe... If I confront her, maybe I could find peace of mind. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is where my thumbnail's from. Deception. Hello. Anyone there? I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Speaking of service... Yeah, this is where my uh, thumbnail's from. Like, literally this still. But I changed the colour of it so it was purple, because... <laughs> why not? How are you? Okay, take care. Snow. No wonder these folks are so absent. Oh my god, it's a potato. Ahem. Can I get past, please? No point, he's sleeping like a rock. Why, why, why did we ask? Can I get past, please? Game saved. Oh. Nursing home hallway. Right. Oh god, that's quite creepy. Anyone there? No answer. Ah, oh, especially the fact I can go all the way down here. Uh, I don't know if I want to go to the basement. Hmm. Uh. Wait, what is? Hmm. Yeah, right, whatever. Very strange. Also, the basement's just very creepy. I thought I heard something. Hey kid, could you do an old man a favour? Sorry, who are you? Janet Carpenter at your service. Yeah, my name's Price. Nice to meet you. I sh and sure, what do you need? I was in the middle of something, but then the electricity went off. I'm guessing the circuit breaker tripped. There's a fuse box near the kitchen. Could you check the fuses over there? Guess I'm not in a hurry, so why not? Thank you kid. I'll let you borrow my key. Tell no one. Alright, be right back. You got it. Janet a carpenter. I guess. Key won't fit here. Besides, that would be rude. Yeah, would it though? Right. So we're now in the hallway. Oh god. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Potatoes! I... I refuse. I shall not cook anything. No! Potatoes? My skills are not go are going to waste. I refuse. I need better ingredients. Oh god. It would be nice to have some meat every now and then. Go away, get lost. Oh, you do! Wait, what? Oh. She's... gone? What the fuck? I'm confused. How do you do? 
No, wait. No! I'm frustrated. Only potatoes after potatoes. Yes, I overheard, I overheard the conversation. Savings, they call it. These people need better food. But I can't provide them with only potatoes. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. I unlocked the door. The breaker room. Grand. This must be the fuse box. Let's see. Fuck. What? Oh, I probably have to go from left to right. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. Oh, maybe not. What? Oh, are you shitting me? One. Burr, burr. And we got it. Ta-da! Got it! The electricity should be back on. That was easy. I don't understand what the hell the issue with the, with the nurse was. It's very weird. I do like how she just disappeared though. That was very nice. What's the issue with the bathroom? I don't need to wash my hands right now. I don't like using public toilets. You and me both, brother. Actually, it depends. If it's just for a piss, then, you know, I don't really mind. Anything else, then I do. Ooh. What the hell is this program? Better just leave it. Yeah, probably a good idea. Fun. Alright, let's go back down to the bit. Oh! Oh my. Better go back to the basement. No, the potato man's still there. Mm-hmm. Whoa. What the fuck? Uh... Hey. Hey. Ah, thanks, kid. Electricity is back on. What the hell are you doing? I'm disposing of this corpse. Corpse? Who is that? Just a monster. He died a few days back. It's cheaper this way. Oh, I feel sick. What's that? <laughs> We're feeling like spewed on. Ugh. I'm going to throw up any moment now. Piles of guts, body fluids, and blood. This will have to do. Yep, we got some meat. That potato man needed meat. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Now that's fairly fucked up. We're using meat from a corpse. Well, you know, meat is usually from a corpse, but I mean, this is from a human corpse. Not just any old corpse. Here you go, friend. I happen to come across this fine piece of beef. You think it could be suitable for your purposes? Let's take a look. Yes. Oh. Brilliant. Oh, God. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Thank you, young master. I'll start cooking right away. My pleasure. I wonder if I could just leave and then go back in. And then it's done. Yeah, not quite. Fuck. No, uh, he's still cooking. Still cooking. Must go all the way back down to the basement. Wait. There's no way I can get, I can pass that. Or get past that. No answer. Yeah, that should be far enough, I hope. There we go, he's done. I don't hear him making noises. Oh no, he is. Oh. Jeez, are you done yet? Where the hell can I go to? I can go into literally every room. But he's still, you know, he's still doing his thing. Ugh.
Oh man, come on. <laughs> Hurry up and finish cooking. Your disturbing thing. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh. Nice. Mm hmm. Lovely. So I guess that's why the meat wasn't made. <gasps> I don't like this. Is she still gonna be there? Yep. Oh. Okay. I prepared a beautiful dish. Finally these people will get the food they deserve. Speaking of that, I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Can I take the food to her? What? Oh. Sure kid, take the dish- take this dish to her. Thank you, chef. Oh no. It's quite sh quite awful what we're taking to her. Yeah, last time I was here, this chick- I don't actually know, was she gonna attack me? Oh no, because the person that was on about potatoes was the chef. So, oh, I must have just assumed that the nurse was going to attack. Because I'm stupid. Room service. Well, sort of. Do you bring food? I'm hungry. Yes. Can I come in, please? Please do. Oh my god, is that Miss Goodwin? Oh no. It's a wardrobe. This might come in hang it. <laughs> I didn't say handy, I said hangy. Ah, oh, that was stupid. Are you Mrs. Goodwin? Did, did you have food for me? I did indeed. You're not Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, I'm afraid you've got the wrong room, dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Here's the food. Thank you, dear. Well, I've got... I'll get go... It, it's been a long time since anyone came to see me. I'm so... I think it was two months ago. Oh god. My grandchild came to see me. I really need... I haven't heard from him since. Though I believe he got married lately. That's nice to hit. With a girl. What was her name again? Was it Helen? 